I'm Steven. Welcome to Tech Gaming. Tonight is Tuesday night, Cities and Chill. We are once again working on the Eye of the World map. That's right. There we go. If you want the best, you've got to go big. That's why our cameras are Oh man, that, that wildfire really took off. Take that nature. This fire like up this like I'm gonna stop him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. I believe you. He's the one that you're afraid to take outside. Whoa. Only the best. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Say cheese. What is this traffic jam? Why are they going through here? Where'd they going? Signature size, like our famous bowl full of melted cheese, served steamy and bubbling. It's the bottomless juggler, or our New Orleans inspired pork sandwich, the pig cheesy, and our signature flagship, the spicy blue cheese top jalapeno cheese blucher. Mmm, so hmm. hurry in and get them while they last. Interesting. Oh, why take a little bite when you can take a big bite? They're just moving in. That's pretty bad. Like, it's not even like that dense over here, it's just a neighborhood. What's going on? That is Dawn Radio, and I'm just a staff. Just like a million garbage trucks just destroying the traffic flow of my city. Great. Anyways. Uh this is still going smooth. This is like one of my most favorite highway to not highway junctions I've ever made, actually. This works so well. Can't rebuild that. Oh yeah, I need like a disaster recovery center. Yeah, that thing. I'm gonna put this up here. Boom. Look at him go. So many fires lately. There's a fire here. We had, and it's already healed up over here from that fire. This fire over here. Anyways, yeah, we can almost put up here and finally get to this little inlet. Anyways, let's actually build something. How about we work on... Where we built out this neighborhood? That's looking pretty good. That's bad. I actually have quite a bit of commercial demand for the first time in forever. I'm not really sure what caused that, so... What's this? Not enough educated workers. Let's fix that. I guess we could do a regular university. Alright, and then high schools. Um, one over here. One over here. I guess we could build out this area with a little bit more density. I don't know. We'll, we'll experiment. If it gets really bad, at least we'll only have this one spot to redo rather than just like this whole freaking suburb, neighborhood, area. Look at all these freaking fairies. St oh, it's making a dent in the usage. Holy crap. 364. Whoa. Do we charge? Do we make money from fairies? Uh, no. Oh well. Okay, we're still very rich and yeah, everything's looking good. 
Hmm. I guess I could work on this area over here. Um. Trying to think of how I want to do this. It's basically, I need to build a highway to go up here. So I'm gonna build a large, a pretty large city area. However, doing that is gonna require a lot of traffic. And if I do anything else but a highway, it's going to be a mess. I think of a clever way to hook this up to it, but I can't really. Well, hmm. I mean, I really don't care for this uh, area here. Let's do it. All right, so remember this before, and then we'll do after. Yep, it's all gotta go. I always hated that little wide junction of crap anyways. That destroy everything. Everybody's very upset about all this. Okay. Um, what else? I want to keep this junction because it works so well. But we're going to do this, actually. Nobody like that. Now, I know these aren't going to line up perfectly. However, this is more just the, the blueprint. Um, Really, it's just this guy. Yeah. Come on, I just want to make a stupid straight. Why is that such a problem game? Why? I want somebody from Paradox to say, we can't let you build a straight line with that tool. Like, I don't, I don't understand. We'll just do, this will just be a curvy freaking highway. It's fine.
I don't want this to be a stupid viaduct thing, right? So it's a medium, yeah, increased brush strength. That's looking okay. Um, I'll probably have some kind of fancy junction right here. I'm trying to point at the screen, you can't see that. Long time to see Jumanji. I know that, but I'm just frustrated by the, the squiggly tools. Like sometimes, you know, you want to have a straight line and then they just like, you can't do that, you know? It's just weird. It's just weird to me that you can't do that. How have you been? I haven't talked to you in forever. I'll delete that segment there. Perfect. Nope, not perfect. Uh. I'm not using too many. I have a uh, traffic manager president edition. I have uh, not really that many. I have, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it bare bones because I think last time I had like a fatal crash and it never really recovered. So I've been avoiding uh, using mods as, as much as I can within reason. How's, oh my gosh. See? I just want to make a straight line. Sometimes. I want to mix the curves with the straight lines. You know? Am I a madman? What the heck? Is there water there? I don't see any water. No, I don't have Move It. Move It is a great mod, though. And I probably should actually get that because. The more I do highway construction, the more frustrating it gets, of course. There has to be water there or something. Is there water there? I don't see any. I like this seem to be getting extra full though. <sighs> Anyways. That's so weird. Why does it do that to me? Is this going to do it too? Probably. Yeah. That is so weird. Why is it? I don't see anything. See, now this highway, this big road's not going to go <gasps> under it. Which might be for the best. I don't know. 
Well, no, I'm gonna go under it. Let's fix this. But just leap for further back enough, far back enough. Eventually, it'll work. Drive me insane. Okay. If I do it too high, that's not too bad. It'd be a stretch to get that road to work. Yeah, fine road tools. Fine road anarchy is okay. I mean, it's very helpful if you want to get really detailed, but I don't, I don't know. This might take some fancy footwork to get working. Oh. Yes. Perfect. And then this one is just going to come over this way. Yeah, I really wish I had the, the road or move it right now so I can make these level. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's... It's okay, this part wasn't a problem, so I'm okay with deleting that. That other side was the pain in the butt. At Akio, we've been making the best in mobile phones for over 20 years. How did we, there we get go. there? By putting ringtones in every commercial that make you think your phone is ringing. Whether you have a new phone, an old phone, or just leave it on vibrate, we make sure you <sighs> always hear your phone in our commercials. It's our way of saying, we hear you. So don't be silent when opportunity calls. Pick it up. It's for you. Akio See, this is when that the road anarchy would be good. The best views hmm. come what if we did? Looking out from a window on the 70th floor, the people below you look more like ants than individuals. All tirelessly working for a chance at the same high rolling lifestyle. Where could we be without this kind of division? If there wasn't always someone earning more than me, why would anyone compete anymore? From up here, you can't Let's tell turn these off. step back and think, write this. If you're feeling blue today, Ah, come on. Look at that. It's like a crease. Can't let that stand. It's okay, we crossed the road. That was the hard part. Parts in the road. The road guides back on. That is acceptable. I'll take it. Yeah, I don't, I, I mean, when the game came out, they didn't even have tunnels. So it's not too far to believe that they didn't think about above ground roads until after, until really close to launch, like crap. What about like bridges and overpasses? Like, oh, shit. Um, do I want to connect these? Yeah. We'll turn this into an industrial road. I like these industrial roads a lot. It's not too steep. It's not that steep. You just have to make a weird angle, that's all. Nope, perfect. <sighs> okay. Now for the dang junction. Ooh. 
We'll start it with ramps because I'm lazy. Oh my gosh. Yep, that's right. I think they really rushed this game to launch. Like, I feel like uh, most of the stuff in the After Dark DLC should have been included with the game. Just saying. Um, at least they did have workshop support, so you could actually, like, fix your game. But still, it's just kind of like, eh, a little bit janky. Can I straight shot? Nah, there's too many pillars. Um... See, I'm too close to this. I hate that already. Hmm. Yep. Why is this one spot so freaking weird? I don't... Blows my mind. I mean, that's kind of how Paradox Games rolls, though. Like, if you've seen the DLC for, uh, what's it, Crusader Kings and Europa Universalis, it just is, like, hundreds of DLC. I mean, it's a pretty good model, though, like a cheap base game. I mean, you are... I can't imagine playing this game without all the DLC. I did not mean to do that. Hmm. There. <sighs> Why'd I do that? We're just going for high flying freaking overpass. That's what we're going for. That is one thing about, uh, true. Man, six people? Is it really that small? I can't, they're probably like 30 people now. At least this game is, what, Paradox's most popular? It's up there. This is one of Paradox's biggest game series. By a long shot. Yeah, because it did Cities in Motion, and that was probably a pretty small team. Alright, so now I have a garbage road. It's beautiful. Um, hmm. Ooh. The answer is so clear. I'm an idiot. I should have thought about this the whole time. It was just apparent to me. Um... No, oh, dang it. Why did it go down? I wouldn't be fighting this. See, that's not too bad. I mean, it gets you into the into the game, I guess. It's, it's a good middle ground. I mean, it's better than charging 60 bucks and then also delivering an unfinished game like most AAA games. That's right, we're going trumpet. Ah, it's ugly. All I hope is that for City of Skylines 2, they drop the Unity engine. And while it's easy, probably relatively easy for them to work in, it's also not, it's working well outside of its uh, design with this game. further out. This is tough. 
Ooh. That is ugly as crap. Wow. Wish I had a move it tool to lower that. Instead, I'm just gonna have to suck it up. to go that high. What's it? Okay. <sighs> I think they actually make it more difficult than actual highway design in real life. There we go. Not the worst trumpet interchange. There's only one thing, or there's two things that would get the SimCity 5 that Sea Skylines can't match. And that is the industries in SimCity 5 in terms of like making out like phone factories or car factories and all the resources and the management of those was done perfectly. However, I mean, you're, the game is flawed by design. So a little bit, a little bit rough there. However, I think we'll just do a oh. and then also the graphics of some fifty five were spot on. Like, it's just really a beautiful game to look at. To play, not beautiful. But, man, it's a... Like, the just the... The, uh, the music, the aesthetic of it is just perfect. Ha however, they, uh... Yeah, we all know. The rest is history, as they say. That's getting rough. That's a little bit rough. But I don't want to be spending 45 minutes. I've already spent 20 minutes on a stupid thing. Yeah, a little bit cartoony. But like, I think City Skylines tried to go for like a mix of cartoony and well, I went for cartoony, but it didn't have, there's no strong unifying art style to City of Skylines, right? Like the buildings just kind of look generic. I don't know. And of course there's DLC to fix that in mods, but you know. SimCity, it's like they had an actual like artist spend time making assets and making design aesthetic. All right, so this trumpet's over there. Oh, we just have one more little trumpet to do. Not really trumpet, it's just a... Space already occupied. I don't think so. Well, if you look from above, it looks great if you look too close. Yeah, the scale is really bad. It's like... It's just inconsistent, right? Like that's like a two or three floor building down there, but this is also four floors. Um, but they have the money, they could probably, I'm telling you, City Skylines 2, they could really get, get some work done. I don't know. Anyways, our highway up here is finally done. Thank spider monkeys. Yeah, something like that.
Yes, that's also a really weird thing. It's like, uh, four by four. It's just a four tile limit. Four tiles deep, but the tiles are like 10 deep. I mean, how big is a block in New York City? I mean, it's hundreds of feet. And these skyscrapers are massive. And so, and then, I don't know. It's like, this is pretty much one of the tallest buildings that's in the base game. And it's like 15 people work here. And it's a shopping center. And, eh. and then the house back here actually has a larger footprint. I don't know. Also, the fact that wealth is tied to density in this game doesn't make any sense at all. But, like, there's no slums in this game. There's no poor looking buildings. It's all just like this contemporary European style building. Ah, yes, my favorite style. Oh, that's a little, can't have that. That's good enough. And then this just peels off right here. Actually, a little bit further back is fine. But yeah, SimCity 4, uh, SimCity 5 had some like tenements and stuff, but SimCity 4, you would, when a building like lost its, uh, right? It's the perfect socialist society. Hmm. I'm gonna have to build this one backwards to make it look right. Let's see. Um, kind of also do you know about the uh, the tax glitch in this game not really glitch it's a design where basically if you have too much money the game uh, cuts your taxes invisibly it puts a modifier on your tax income so no matter what you do, you can't ever pass like, I think a hundred million dollars. I mean, of course it's like a more money than you can ever spend in this game, but still it's like, it messes with you. Cause once you start getting like above, I think 20 million dollars, your income's gonna start doing this. And you can still go up over time, but like eventually the modifier is so bad that you lose all your tax income for no apparent reason except to like save. I don't know. I don't know what they're saving. Anyways, my goofy looking junction is in there. Great. Let's put in commercial. This will be fun. Uh, I'm actually, that's probably gonna be another big road. Yeah, uh, I made a video on it on, you can look it up on Google or Reddit too, but basically, it's just as I explained, you know, you start making too much money and your your tax revenue just inexplicably goes down. And there's no, it doesn't show you any multipliers, it doesn't show you any anything, it just is less. Specifically the residential, uh, I don't, the commercial is slightly affected the residential, like it'll go from like 70,000 to like 14,000 until you're below a certain amount of money. Then it goes back up. And so your money just does this once you hit a certain point. And that's designed in the game. It's frustrating. Can't even have a billion dollars. What the heck? Alright. Boop. Boop. 
Who? Uh, there we go. So water and power, and then we'll actually have a new city center ready to go. I don't know if there is a mob to fix. I guess there probably is. You'd be the first person to ever hit one billion dollars in city skylines without like cheating in a billion dollars, I guess. I wonder what would happen. Would it just like put your taxes into the negatives or just turn them to zero? That should be good enough. All right, power of water. Let's go and build out a hospital. Uh, crematorium. Let's put a mall right here. Why not? Boom. Of course, power doesn't travel on the roads for some reason. I want to make a mod where you can buy more expensive roads that have power lines and water lines built into them. You can just hook into them from your sources. Like, I want that so bad. I've actually thought about, like, Ordering how to do mods and doing like a in-depth power mod where you actually have to like take money from a power plant, send it over high voltage transmission lines into a substation that turns into medium voltage, which distributes it to a neighborhood, which then it goes into another substation, which then turns it into low voltage, which can go into the houses. But that would be a lot of work, so I'm not going to do that. But I think it'd be cool, you know? Or like water pipes that actually have like a volume to it, so you have to like buy bigger pipes and stuff to handle more volume and pressure. So if, like, if you build a uh, water pump up here, it would give you a lot more pressure than down here. That might be a little bit easier almost. But, yeah. Yeah, Transformed the landscape and made a lasting impact on our world. It's that legacy that Dino Oil is proud to continue by using their That's great. old dead bone goop to fuel dead bone goop. door wagon, making it the oldest form of recycling hmm. there is. Dino that's pretty good. Electric roads. Embrace the power. And I feel like that's something that should be in the base game. Uh, I guess that would be. That'll get tedious. Like maybe have a hardcore version of the game where you, where you could like manage that, but that'd be a lot of work. I don't know. I understand it both ways, but. Oh yeah, I don't want to do that. I want offices. So, try and get more educated people over here. Speaking of which, let's do community school so fancy and then a institute of creative arts for a high school like literally the most useless buildings in the game i don't know do they actually increase anything like a park like SimCity 5 could have done that that is already such a micromanaging game and also more understandable that he couldn't scale it up, but I don't know. Six M City Four, make put City Skylines graphics on it, and then maybe give it more micro. Uh, I'm thinking too outside the box, I guess. I just need to be a game developer. I just need to learn how to make games. Yep, that's it. See, that would be cool, right? But like if you had a, a research thing, I know it's kind of fourth wall breaking to have research points for a city building game but you know like oh we can now lay lines under the roads i'd also think it'd be cool to do like a internet service provider kind of thing too i mean you already pretty much a socialistic government running everything so might as well run internet service providers right and so like high value businesses only grow with good connections and whatnot and as demand grows up, you have to upgrade it. I don't know. 
oh the like the modern technology institute versus regular university for a institute of creative arts versus a normal high school or you know the education stuff i mean they look cool i think they have a little bit of like park value landmark value i don't know hey this this highway is working great look at that and then just slide on in they don't even care i'm pretty proud of that i think that looks pretty good Oh yeah, this whole area that I demolished. Um, stop. Why are they even building there? Just, just stop it. Anyways. We did get rid of a junction here. But I don't think that really makes too much of a difference. Traffic's not particularly the worst anywhere. It's a little bit heavier here, but... Uh, I don't know. These are part of the Green Cities DLC, actually. For no reason. Green Cities was an okay expansion pack. Especially because it added more power plants. I like having a lot of power plant options. Though it did... Like how... How does this pass quality control? Like, which one is it? So that's 6,400 for 40 megawatts. Yeah. One of these is just broken. I think it's a solar one. It's just brokenly good. No. Yeah. I think maybe they fixed it. I just feel like they made these too powerful, too cheap, too easy. I mean, it's a quarter million dollars. However, if you're already pulling in bank, it's nothing. And then you just power everything. Look at that traffic flowing. It's beautiful. All right, let's put in office complexes. Let's talk about my favorite thing to put next to highways is office complexes. And since they are pretty much don't need anything, we're just gonna run it from this road way over here. Oh no, it's the recycling center it is brokenly good. 2400 for 240 a week. Versus the 24,000 a week for 240. And then this is 48,000 for 1440, except it puts out almost no power and it costs, and it puts out a crap ton of pollution. Now, I can't, that's my problem with like the Industries DLC and the Campus DLC is that, and the Parks DLC is that they're all these little, where is it? Right here. These, because they're like these additional zones, these areas, and they just have no value, except the Industries one breaks your job market. Uh, the Park one makes you inefficiently large parks. Uh, the Hold on. Who's bugging me? Ah. And then, uh, in the university, things kind of cool, but you can't make enough. There's no point. All right, other than I want to make a university in city skylines, rather than like uh, green cities, did some. Oh, look, I can build a track and field stadium. Like I, I compare these to the SimCity 5 ones, like that were built into the base game, which was the in, the factories, uh, the casinos, the what else did they have? There's a few others like that. I think that was really cool. That was really well done in SimCity 5. This game's like the expansions try to match it, but they just can't. All these people moving in, man. Jeez. Oh no, my crappy junction's already at capacity. 
It's just this junction. It'll probably cool down a bit. I need to make another one right here. It's gonna flood. No? Maybe. Let's plant a tree. Let's see. Hey, the auto rotate mod finally installed. Yay! Something that should be in the base game. Yay! Oh, wait, do I have tree brush? No. Yeah, I hit. The thing that bugs me about snowfall is that it's not even like part of the base maps. You have to make completely new cities. It's like, what if, what if you had like high mountains next to? You know, like think about Vancouver, Canada, right? It's like in the valley. It doesn't snow that much in the valley, but there's huge mountains all around it, ski resorts and stuff. Why can't? Why not both? Hmm. A lot of it probably just comes down to unity being unity and whatnot. And having a small team. Wow, another forest fire. Who would have thought? So I eventually need to think of a way to get this highway to come, probably destroy all that crap. I come through here, connect up with that thing, that'd be pretty good. Demand is good though, nice. Uh, snowfall added the hot water things and uh, snow plows. Hmm. Uh, they could have uh, they could have done freaking zoo tycoon, almost. Right, like you have like these enclosures and everything, but once again, this should have been like a five dollar thing. Like, oh, add zoos to your cities. True, but it did add a couple zones that actually add some variety, I think. All right, leisure, 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 organic. Who would use this? It produces 50% of sold goods locally, but it increases electricity consumption by 20%, but you get no skyscrapers. They're all gone. Uh, I do like tourism though. But that was part of the base game, I think. Got a lot of traffic heading this way. <laughs> There's so many ferries. So like there's like a ferry port that has two things on it, but you don't need that. Cause look, two ferries can go to the same one at the same time, as long as they're going in different directions. Or are they going at the same time or whatever. These ferries are getting at a 526. It's pretty good. Uh, I hate what I hate toll booths in this game. They made toll booths completely worthless. So, I don't know. I guess it's cool to see your city at night, right? I don't, I don't have night mode enabled because it's so annoying. Uh, actually, I probably just need to end the stream, but let's see here. I'll just save. Ooh, disasters. Disasters is good. I do have them almost disabled. <laughs> but disasters are worth it. Right, that's actually like, well, it should have been in the base game. I mean, every SimCity game has had disasters from the start. There you go. At least, at least the game was cheap, right? All right, let's see nighttime. Come on. You can think about doing a tsunami on this map, right? Because it's surrounded by water. But I think it would just destroy everything, and I would lose. Yes. Uh, yeah, toll booze. Um, it's like the park fees. You can use the parks. To charge people walking through, you can. There's no reason to not set the fee to max, and then uh, I thought about making a city that's funded off of that, 
or basically I had the residential on one side, the industry on the other side, and you're only connected by walkways, right? Yeah, disasters are. I think it added enough variety to be a good expansion. But like, uh, anyways, have like walkways and have them charge like 30 bucks for people to walk back and forth. Maybe walk through multiple parks. That'd be amazing. It's gonna be night time. I really wanna put a dam right here. But I don't think it's enough flow to be worth it. Oh yeah. Okay, that looks pretty good, right? It's not really fun to build in or anything, but it looks cool. The game looks most photorealistic at night. I don't think it was an uncoupled mechanic. I think it's more of just a, uh, we're gonna get this barely functioning game out before we go broke. And then like, oh crap, we should have added this and this and this. Instead of patching it in. You know, why not make 10 bucks, 15 bucks ahead? We're like 20 bucks. Though I am affiliated with City Skylines, and so I actually get all my DLC for free now. It's pretty great. And I can usually get it a week early as well. So that's also pretty nice. Anyways, I gotta, I gotta go. I've been streaming for like way too long. Yeah. Anyways. It was fun chatting with you, Jumanji. I might try to get SimCity 4 going again. I had a lot of crashes over and over and over again. There you go, the Auto City Builder. Yeah, you just, uh... What? Anyways, I'm out of here. It was fun talking to you. I'll probably be trying SimCity 4 again. In a week or two, we'll see. I'm having a lot of fun with this map. Do what? Oh, like pop up that thing? I don't... I don't know what I did. Nope. Hmm... Oh, I think I pressed, uh... Yeah. So the function key, and then I have, like, pause, play, volume up, volume down. And this is... It's actually a YouTube video I have on Google Chrome. Uh, that's a... This monoprice RGB keyboard. Look at this thing. Rainbows for days. Yeah, not a problem. Seems affiliate. Uh, pretty worth it. If you can get that somehow, it's great. Save. I need to just clear out my saves. See you, man.